Hello. Hi. My name is Kurt. Hey, my name is Kurt too. I like to play with computers. I like playing on computers. I like to sit up on the internet. Yep. We can do fun. Hard all night long. That's uh-huh. right, my fellow me. Yep. Yep. I enjoy very much playing around on the internet. Yes. Chatting sir. and playing and yes. listening to music and enjoying life. Shut up already. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and uh, I guess we'll call this part two of the network installation, okay? Or network configuration. So what I did was looked around in here a little bit to see how to do things with the changes that have been made since the, the tutorial that I was looking at online. And I found that you do have to right click up here Okay, go to Wi-Fi Networks and click it. Where it says Configure, leave the interface alone where it says Interface, leave that one go to the right of it. Click it and click on WLAN 0, WLAN 0. You can leave that check mark there. It's not going to hurt anything because we're not going to leave anything empty anyway. Okay, at the top here, the IP address, we're going to give this Raspberry Pi a permanent IP address, a permanent local IP address, uh, one that's used strictly in your home and uh, nowhere else for this particular Raspberry Pi. So depending on what your router uh, IP pool is, the IP pool is uh, the grouping of IP available IP addresses that your router is able to um, assign and, and handle in your local area network. Most routers come with an IP pool that starts with a 192. Okay, and then it'll they'll gener generally be 192.168 and then the third number will be either a 0 or a 1 or maybe a 2. It all depends on what router you have. Okay, you'll enter those based on what your router shows and then go ahead and give it uh, a number you could probably start in the 100s for the last number uh, for this Raspberry Pi if you haven't assigned any IP address to another device with a dot 100 at the end of it it should be available for you to use for this Raspberry Pi so in my case my router starts with 192.168.1 okay and then I entered the dot, and then I'm going to give this this uh, Raspberry Pi of mine a 100 at the end of it. The router in the box where you enter the, your IP address for the router, it is the IP address that you use in your browser. Uh, most most modern wireless routers can be accessed through your uh, browser. Okay, if you don't know what that might be and you don't know how to get into the configuration of your wireless router, you may want to get a hold of your internet service provider and ask them for information on how to access those settings through your browser so that you can do follow along with some of these things that we'll, we'll be doing. Um, but anyway, the IP address that you enter into your browser to access your router's configuration file is the same IP address that you need to enter in this box next to where it says router. In my case, my router IP address that I have to type into the browser is 192.168.1.1. Okay. DNS servers, I use Google's publicly available DNS servers. The, what, the first one that I entered is 8.8. Dot eight dot eight dot eight. each one separated by a dot, but you don't put a dot at the end of the last eight. Eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. The second Google DNS server is eight dot eight dot four dot four. Okay, once you have these things entered, uh, according to your own situation, your own router's needs, click the apply button and then you can close this once you've closed that 
Let me back up a minute. Let's say we're in there. Okay. Right before you click apply, I beg your pardon, I, I should have remember, remembered this, but before you click the apply button, unplug the network cable from your Raspberry Pi so it's not connected to your router anymore through the cable because now we want to see if we, we've got the Wi-Fi dongle working through your wireless router. So once you have your network cable unplugged, then go ahead and click the apply button and then close. After you've done that, if everything works out in your favor, <laughs> I, it took me some fiddling to figure my own, my own out. Uh, this is probably one of the toughest parts of setting up your Raspberry Pi if, if things ain't working right. Uh, but anyway, what you should see is the Ethernet icon up here in the upper right hand corner next to the little speaker icon should switch from an Ethernet icon to the the well-known Wi-Fi icon once your Wi-Fi icon is up if it is up then you should be able to bring your browser up and type in your favorite address I'm gonna just enter Google just for the fun of it and there we go I'm up and running in my Wi-Fi no longer need a cable Okay, now if you are not lucky enough to have this work for you, if the odds are not in your favor, <laughs> you can bring up, I'll close this, in the upper left hand corner of your screen there's a little, it looks like a little icon with a monitor on it with a black screen. You click that once, go into this console is also called a terminal window and type sudo sudo space ifup space wlan0 that tells your raspberry pi to start your wireless uh, connection with your dongle on your pi if you hit enter, in my case, it says that mine is already up and running since I finally got mine figured out. If yours wasn't up and running and everything works okay now, when you hit the enter button or enter key on your keyboard after typing this, you should then see that little Wi-Fi symbol up there. Now, if you're unable to still get internet access or if it's still not showing up quite the way you like, left click on it and then look through all of the different Wi-Fi hotspots in your area you should see yours listed in this list once you find it left click on it and then a little box will pop up asking you for your password if you have your router password protected so nobody else can use it only you it's going to ask you for that password enter that password and then save it and then try to bring up your WLAN by typing sudo if up WLAN 0 and hit enter. Out of all that, you should eventually get your Wi Fi up and running. That's about it for this video. We'll work on the uh, adding a user and changing the host name in the next upcoming video. In the meantime, have fun.